Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. gentlemen right over there Stephen Kravitz ladies and gentlemen hey, from, from, you, folks? from Worcester Massachusetts that's right where it is freezing oh it's it's snowing here is it really yeah and it's freezing too because our our, our a building never gets heated enough when it gets really cold so oh, really yeah but uh, luckily I have a fireplace if I need it you know so oh, do you really yeah I have a fireplace yeah, you don't have to come visit when all well, of this all of this is over. Yeah, I mean it's just a, a, a short ride from here. Yeah, and uh, uh, also uh, you know, then you come down to Harlem and get your car stolen. That's scary. Yeah. You can do that. Yeah, no, it all works out. Actually, they don't steal cars much in New York. Remember a time in New York where I don't know if you were here where you couldn't leave your car parked out on the street overnight. Forget it. Really, it was gone the next day. I don't remember you know, it, that. It was over on the West Side Highway up on blocks. Oh, God. Yeah. In fact, uh, uh, during that time, uh, a policeman, one of these uh, horse policemen, you know, the policemen that are on the horses, had his horse stolen and they found him on the West Side Highway up on blocks with his oh, hooves moving. With, with his hooves move, missing. That's hooves missing. Well, we'll be here all week. Did I just win the San Francisco comedy competition? In one year, there was. Yeah, 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 you did. <laughs> uh, so anyway, so how you doing? You, you've been on medicine. You've been uh, taking... Uh, you, what I find is miraculous is I've known people who had um, uh, hep C, hep hepatitis C, and I've, I've known them, and they lived a horrible life. You know, it was just they had this thing, and they, they had to be careful, and you couldn't use their razor blade, and, I mean, it was all kinds right. of stuff like that. Right. And then all of a sudden, one day, they come out with, what, a pill, I guess, right? Right. And you three take, pills. Huh, three pills. And you take them for like a month. Two months. Two months. All right. See, I'm, I'm wrong on everything. And then, then it's gone forever. That's what they say. Right. Okay. So that's pretty good. You're you got like, a very high uh, percentage of success. Yeah. You, you, fact, as a matter of fact, I have a friend who, who had uh, terrible eczema, you know? Uh, right. he, he, I'd say 90% of his body had e really? eczema. Yeah. I mean, at certain times of the year, other times of the year, it wasn't that bad. But it, it, was, it was pretty bad and uh, terribly bad. I used to go over to his house, and there was, like, skin flakes all over the rug. Ah. Uh. And he suffered with this for years. Then they came out with the thing for eczema, and he got it's a, like it's a twenty thousand dollar shot, right? But he went and got it, you know, because he was covered on insurance, and uh, he um, uh, just uh, uh, you know, uh, it's all gone. There, there is not an inch of his body that has eczema on it now. Is that right? Yeah. So there are things we've we've kind of cured, you know. It, it, right. We, we talked it's about. Like, we were talking last time about uh, AIDS. AIDS it, was a death sentence. Yeah, no, no more. I, no. I, I don't, I don't know that I know of anybody with full blown AIDS any longer. They may be HIV positive, but then they right. take this drug they advertise on TV and they say it will bring your t your T cell rating down to a point or wherever that you're not. Uh, nobody can catch it from you. In other right, words, right, it, right, it's, right. it's non detectable and go ahead. Get a blowjob, you know. It's, it's it, well, it's like you never had it. Well, it's not like you never had it because you still have it. Oh, you do. Yeah, you still have it. You have your HIV. You were HIV positive, but I don't know the drug or something. They advertise it. They say it brings it down to undetectable uh, levels where right. it is safe for you to go out and have sex and do all the things you used to do. So, 
Let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Yeah. It's, so it's the eighties all over again. And then the other day, I went over and got my uh, my uh, shot, my vaccination. So, oh, you did? Yeah, yeah. And uh, now you got to go back for a second one, right? Uh, yeah, but uh, it's like in five and a half weeks because they didn't have any closer to that. To five. Oh, really? Yeah. But now they say you can do six weeks and it's not a problem. So. Okay. You know, they, they in fact, the CDC revised their rules to say six weeks, which then allows the first batch, like, then you have more to give to people. Okay. Right. Rather right. than having, right. This, right. you know, when the five weeks comes up, they've saved one for you. Right. Or six weeks, one for you. Uh, but if they don't have to do that, uh, at four weeks, then they've got two weeks worth of, you get what I'm saying, to give to right, other Right, 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 right. What, what it is is we don't have enough. And secondly, we don't even know whether this is going to work or not. That's true. You know, they That's think true. it's worked in tests, but, you know, neither Moderna nor uh, Pfizer are going to sit around and say, hey, yeah, yeah, take this. You're never going to get COVID any longer. Right. They don't know. Then they the, don't even know if it's safe. Well, no, it it's safe. It's not. They they're not putting anything in you that is. It's not the disease, okay. In fact, calling it a vaccine, I think, is their big problem, because vaccines you take. Uh, oh, I don't know, whatever the thing is, the the flu for this year, and you inject right. in people a little bit of that flu, right? And then they get antibodies, and then they don't get the flu during the winter, right? Right. Well, in this case, they're not doing that. This is uh, something that goes into your system and tells it whenever you see this little spiky deal come, this little ball with spikes on it, right? go kill it. You know, but it's it teaches your body to do something, and that's how it's different. So. Oh, I get you. Yeah. So, so what's, what should they call it? Uh, a, re a remedy? Kool-Aid. I don't know. <laughs> they, they could call it a remedy. The remedy is not a good term either, but vaccine scares people, and it's actually it's not a vaccine, right? In fact, I, if I'm correct, I think the word vaccination first happened when they first started giving out smallpox vaccinations. Did you get one, right? of, get one of those where you got a little, little yeah. scar on your arm? Right. And those were vaccinations. That was the first vaccine, you know, where they took the cowpox and they put it in people, and then they didn't get it any longer. What happened? Your phone go off or something? Yeah, I just had to check it. Yeah. It, it always, it, the phone is, to us, is a, we're slaves to our phone. Oh, yeah. I, Absolutely. I, I, I had to look at what it said. I, I don't care. Uh, if you're hanging off a building and I've got to grab your hand so you don't die, hold on a second. I've got a text. <laughs> so what are you doing up there? I guess I guess nothing, right? Same thing people are doing everywhere. Nothing. Same old thing every other day, every day. Oh, yeah. It's not very exciting, is it? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, if you if if you didn't have the COVID out there lurking about, what would you be doing? I, what would you, what would you be doing right now? Uh, probably going out to eat with a friend. Mm hmm. You know. Yeah. Or I don't know, going for a ride. Yeah. I guess I could still do that. Yeah. Sure. Oh, up there. Beautiful yeah. up there. Get in the oh, car. Yeah. Take yourself for a nice drive somewhere. Well, you, right. could, you could still do that. I mean, you can get in a car and drive. You're pretty safe that way. It's just sure. don't get out to go to a truck stop or something. Yeah. <laughs> but, I mean, in, you're in the car. You're you're safe, and you can drive wherever you want to go. You're, you're, right. you're lucky. I'm stuck. Well, I mean, it's a big apartment, but I'm stuck in this apartment. You know? And uh, I look outside at the world out there, and I go... Wow, it's beautiful out there. It's snowing. I wish I were out there. But that could kill me out there. Yes. You know. Now, I have... See, I don't get it. Okay? I, in about another, oh, five days or so, when I get up to 12 days after I had the shot... Right. You are 50% protected. What does that mean? That means you can get it. 
That means I have a 50% chance of getting it, but I have a 50% chance of not getting it. And or if I if I get it, is it not is it 50% less bad than it was if I didn't have the vac? What's the 50% protection? Right? Well, you know, I don't know. Maybe from the waist down, you're good. I, I well, not anymore. Not since that prostate thing. But good night. Good night. <laughs> I'll be here all week. So, um, you know, and you must be. It must be killing you that you can't go out and practice your craft. Oh yeah. You know, I mean, that's it, 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 doing comedy. People don't understand this. They think guy goes out, he tells some jokes. Hey, it's all he's got to do. It's the easiest job in the world. Right. But they don't understand. It's like an athlete. You have to exercise constantly. Right. Right. You, right. It, right. Right. Uh, because, it, I mean, if you you haven't done comedy in a, a year, a year. If you went out and did it now, you'd be pretty rusty, wouldn't you? I'd be very rusty, and I would probably struggle to get through the uh, 45 minutes. Mm -hmm. it, it, you do, know? Yeah. Do you do anything at home to, let's say, exercise, like stand in front of a mirror and do your act? What are you laughing at me for? Because there's no way I would do that. Really? Oh, okay. All right. You know, I mean, I bet there are some people who do. I know, and I find it silly. Well, like, I used to get in my car and drive out in the back roads of Marin and pretend I was doing a radio program. Talk to myself. Well, I've, you know. I've, 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 I've done bits in my head on the way to a show to make sure it's a new bit, and I got it right. Okay, while you were in the car driving, you're doing the right. bit. Okay, all right, so that's kind of what I was doing. Right. You know, I would I was practicing. But I don't need to stand in front of a mirror. I don't know why I'd have to stand in front of a mirror. Well, you know, I'm saying that euphemistically. I mean, uh, you could stand in front of a camera. You could stand someplace where you can just or just stand up in the middle of the room and start doing your act. Right. Do you, right. Do, you don't do that. No. No. OK. In fact, I don't even know how much of my act I remember. Oh, wow. Well, you know, when you think things are bad, uh, but yeah, yesterday I did an interview, another interview with uh, Will Durst. Oh, really? Yeah, um, and uh, he's he's slowly one leg is starting to work, and the arm is starting to work, and the hand right. is starting to work, but it's slow, you know. And um, so whenever I think I've got a do I, do I look sick to you, dear? And then I think, hey, Will's lying in that bed for the last year. Oh, yeah, over a year now. Fighting to get himself into some kind of condition. He wants to go home, and he then wants to do something. You know, he wants to go, He wants to at least be able to write. Right, you right. Know. More than anything, he wants to be able to write. You know, I mean, when you lose your, uh, your he, he hasn't lost his ability to talk. Talks perfectly. Hasn't lost his timing, hasn't lost his brain up here and what's going right. on and all of that. It's just parts of his body that don't work. So that really can drive you nuts, I would imagine, because you want to get out of that bed and go... Go do, do things. If not sit up, lie down, something, you know? Right, 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 right. Well, you know what? We, we should allow you sometime, I guess, on one of these to just do your act. Um <laughs> That would be interesting. You are, I, you know, you were, you were great. I still have. I ran into a videotape the other day. I have of you. One of my. Oh really? Uh, 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 if you go to YouTube and type in Stephen Kravitz, you will find video of yourself doing put it there. Doing your act. I don't know. Different people put it there. Uh, uh, there, uh, uh, there's a lot of stuff up there. And it's like I go, I type in Bob Goldthwaite, and I'm there because I'm introducing him on Comedy Tonight. Right, right, right. Uh, you know, or I Stephen Pearl. Right. Comedy Tonight. Yeah, here's Stephen Pearl. Uh, so look up Stephen Kravitz just on YouTube. And uh, okay. you, you see how many times you come up. For instance, wait a minute, hold on a second. I'll, I'll, I'll just go to YouTube right now. And. Um, let me see. Do I have YouTube here? Uh, well, let me see here. Um, there we go. There we go. Okay. So I type in Stephen Kravitz. Okay. 
Uh, Stephen Kravitz. Oh, I can't even type. Stephen Kravitz. And what comes up? Okay, here's Stephen Kravitz. Let's see what happens. Don't make me a liar. There we go. I, I can't show you this, but we got Stephen Kravitz on the MTV Half Hour Comedy Hour. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, yeah? Yeah. And uh, Steve Kravitz, I don't know where this is from, but it looks like you're at a club and you've got a mustache. Oh, boy. And uh, Actually, it's a goatee, except that the bottom part comes in white. Yeah. Um, and, uh, you know, so just type in Stephen Kravitz and it'll, uh, it'll, it'll show, uh, all your, um, uh, there are about, let me see here. There's a Kravitz demo reel here. What, what is that? Uh, it's a, it's, it's a, a demo reel. I can actually show people what I'm talking about. You can't see it, but, uh. There is, uh, you're doing baseball, that's five minutes, uh, Kravitz stand-up one, uh, demo reel, stand-up comic, uh, and stand-up comedy. Uh, so there's, an, oh, and there's even more. Yeah, and you, so you just do that, and it's uh, very simple. You just, uh, you know, you just type in Stephen Kravitz, and you, and, and I, what I do is sometimes I'll put stuff in for Alex Bennett, and stuff comes up that I hadn't seen in years. Right. You know. Or remembered. The Or remembered and wonder where these people even got the goddamn thing. That's like somebody put up a, a, a clip of, of one of my appearances on Nash Bridges. Mm-hmm. I remember the episode. Yeah. I remember the three other scenes I was in, but the scene that they picked, yeah. I don't remember at all. Wow. I don't remember shooting it. I don't remember doing it. Nothing. Were you high at the time? No, probably not. When oh, I worked, okay. I had no. Yeah. yeah it you... wasn't until it, it got really bad. L let me. We, 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 we've run over our usual time, but I don't care. This is, this is too much fun. Um, when you were working, you, you, you always had a drug problem, right? You... Yeah, you were a, a you were a professional at it. Let's let's put it that way, okay? I was I, I was good at my craft. Good at your craft of doing drugs, but when it came time to do work, did you get high beforehand? Not always, but many many times, yes. Oh, okay, all right. Many okay. times, yes. And it, did it hurt your performance? I believe so. Okay. Because uh, in retrospect, I believe so. Because my father years ago, you know, was a musician and he worked in bands. And right. um, uh, he said to me once, he said, um, I, I think he tried marijuana. I, I, I don't, he had to have, he was a musician. Okay. Right, right, um, right, right. But he said that he knew musicians who would do pot before they went on the stand and played music. And they thought they were playing great fact was they were playing terrible <laughs> and right. they didn't know it you know in their head right. they were doing great stuff you know uh i never i never get high before i work there was a time when i was doing coke and i would do some coke while i was doing the radio show i'd go off to the bathroom to yeah wake, i think we all did yeah, to, to wake myself up but uh basically i i wouldn't do anything that would ruin my timing or anything like that right you know, right 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 you know. right and i did that for a while because i thought i was doing a morning show and i felt it woke me up it made me you know it was like a cup of coffee except right to, I sure. except through your nose do you, remember the, do you remember the time jolt cola came in oh geez almighty jolt it, it's still around i think too is it really yeah what they did is coca-cola has caffeine in it that's why you like coca-cola all right right Right. Uh, and and uh, um, they came out with Jolt Cola and they put in twice the caffeine. Right. So when you did Jolt Cola, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. And, and if I remember, the whole audience got some and we were all like buzzing our brains out. <laughs> right. We went and bought cases of it and gave it to the studio audience. All right. right, 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 right. Well, Anyway, hey, listen, we've run out of time, Stephen. 
All right, always, Alex. always wonderful talking to you. You know that. Yes, I love doing this. It's just a nice because I, you allow me to have a conversation with somebody right. that I that I really enjoy and who's smart and witty and all of that. Anyway, maybe all those. see you next week. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Kravitz. Thank you, folks. Now in our sixth year, this is GabNet, the Great American Broadcast Network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Hey, thank you, Stephen Kravitz. We love Stephen. Just love him. The uh, uh, good old friend goes back so far I can't remember. <laughs> you know, I can't. I can't remember when we first met, but he probably does. Uh, but then again, I don't remember those kind of things anymore. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Okay. So anyway, uh, uh, listen, um, uh, I have nothing much to talk. You know, it's funny. I was thinking about it. When I used to do radio every day, uh, I would come on. I would, listen to some, I would listen to some of my old shows. And I would go into a rant for about 15, 20 minutes about what happened to me the day before. And now I have nothing to say because nothing happens in my life. Mainly because I can't go out there. There's nothing, I, you know, it's, it's dangerous out there, okay? Less dangerous as the, uh, as the uh, vaccine caro- careens through my body. But I, I don't have anything to talk about. I mean, I used to be able to say, oh, well, last night I went out to dinner with so-and-so, and, uh, oh, a funny thing happened to me at dinner because they brought the check, and the check had blah, blah, blah. And I go into about a half a, a half an hour on the check, okay? Uh, I don't have that, those kind of adventures anymore, and I want to have them again. And I thought about it, and I said, you know, really, what I would give for Marjorie and I just to be able to get the hell out of here uh, I almost said a demonetizing word. Get the hell out of here. Although I may be demonetized for one of the promos I ran, which had the music that they blasted me for before. And then they said, okay, it wasn't that bad. Okay, whatever. Anyway, let me just go back to where we were. Uh, what was the point I was trying to make? Oh, yeah, so I, I, I just wish... That we could just say, hey, you know, next week we're going to get on a plane. We're going to go to Paris, okay? And go to Paris and do some things and have some adventures. But we can't have adventures. We can't even get on a plane to have an adventure, okay? So it's really, it's really amazing. It's just amazing. So I don't have a lot to talk about these days. You know, except that my, I have my gripes against the, you know, the COVID shots and they're giving them out and they're doing this and they're doing that. I'll tell you one thing they did today. They said they never can quite decide what form they're going to use. So they said, uh, we've gone to a new system now and here is your new, uh, all the information that we still have on you and your uh, appointment has not changed. And here's the number of your appointment and here's the barcode and all of that stuff. And they sent me that. And then they said, oh, fill out this form again. So I had to fill out another form saying that I'm uh, not Hispanic or, or black and a couple of other questions. And then I found out that I had filled it out wrong because they had a thing. You know how sometimes you go to a place on a, on a form and they have a date like your date of birth, blah, 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 right? Uh, this was the date of the first shot that I got, all right? And I, and I just sent it across because it put in a number. And I suddenly realized the number, I had to resubmit it. In fact, I had to resubmit one more, t- about two more times. But I had to resubmit it because what they did is they had that in that place where it says, oh, just put in your, you know, your, uh, your, uh, the date of the first shot, they made, they defaulted to today's date. Okay, so I noticed the date already in there and I just went on. Somebody who made out these forms didn't stop to think that people would be confused by that. Just ask them for their date, let them put their birth date in there, and leave it at that. But don't have it suddenly default to the date that the form was being filled out. It's stuff like that. Just and and because I have nothing going on in my just boring existence right now, something like that just eats away at me. And I keep going, ah, this fucking mayor and a goddamn governor and, you know, and his Cuomo morbidities. 
Uh, you know, I just, I, I just, you know, so th that's all I have to talk about. Otherwise, I've got nothing else. What? We watched five episodes of Gotham today. Whoa, boy, was that exciting. I mean, we enjoyed the show, and Marjorie's kind of enjoying it more than she ever thought she would. But nevertheless, we're into season two, halfway through season two. So just thought I'd mention that. Oh, well, it's time to go to the... Uh, uh, go to the, um, the panel and uh, have all these people coming in. Uh, let's see here. We have um, we have a whole bunch of people. Let me just put, do this here. I got to do gallery so that it comes up that way. There we go. Smart. Oh. It, 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 it's, Ryan, are you there, Ryan? Yeah. How mm -hmm. are you? How are you this evening, Ryan? I I searched up Zoom again and I saw you were live. Yeah, we are. How are you this evening, Ryan? Oh, good. It's nine o'clock. Uh, yeah. It's yeah. Are yeah. You, uh, high school tomorrow. You have high school tomorrow. You have high school tomorrow. No, no. no. School tomorrow. School tomorrow, not high school. You're not. You what? Nine years old? You said. Yeah. Yeah. So you you're in what grade now? Third. Third. Yeah. Oh. Okay. But I. I can't, I can't join the Zooms because I don't have my school iPad. And yeah. Oh, so you 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 can't join the class because you don't have an iPad? So on Wednesdays I do online, mm -hmm. and then the rest of the week I have school. Oh, it's you upside. actually you actually go to school. Where do you live, yeah. uh, Ryan? Ah, uh, USA. No, I know USA, but I mean, what state? We don't want, or what city? We don't care. We don't want the address or anything like that. Oh, uh, Idaho. Idaho. Uh -huh. Wow. Oh, we. I don't think we ever had anybody. Hey, guys, have we ever had anybody from this program we call from Idaho before? Okay. Huh? No. Nope. Nope. Some of you guys can answer. You know. Yeah, that. It, there's it's a job Robert, there, but there's a Robert's there, back. But. Robert's back, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, uh, Robert, we have this uh, kid, uh, smart Ryan. And he yeah. is. He's, he's not stupid. I'm smart. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Ryan, stop licking a spoon. What? He's licking a spoon. Ryan, stop licking his spoon. Is oh, what oh. What's wrong with licking a spoon? What's wrong with Nutella, him licking? Don't waste Nutella. What's wrong with him licking his spoon, Ryan? I don't know. You just, it's against the law. <laughs> it's against the law. <laughs> hey, Charlie, what's your shirt? Charlie, new shirt of the day. Yeah. That says, that's a horrible idea. What time? <laughs> you have to go. Yeah. So anyway, so... Oh, oh, no. You have another one. What did you say? I have to go to bed. Oh, okay. Well, go to bed, Ryan, and it's nice having you here. Always a okay. pleasure. Okay. So I, Everybody wave I, goodbye I, now, Ryan. Bye, Ryan. There we go. Oh, okay. There we go. Okay. There we go. We got to uh, quit that. Where do we go? Uh, remove. Um, Robert, okay. we missed you. We had to have yeah. someone call in. I had to call in because I listened to last night's show. You guys need some fresh fucking blood. Jesus <laughs> Christ. I, you know, I kind of half slept and half listened. At one point, I heard Phil making a comment of comparing my last name to a Soviet dis dissident. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You know, as a comedian, Phil makes a shitty floor salesman. <laughs> <laughs> then I kind of dozed off a while. When I woke up, you guys were reading basketball scores. <laughs> Moderna 72, Pfizer 68, which was great because I had Pfizer plus five and a half points. So I think I won. <laughs> and then I dozed off and I came on and you were doing a fucking spelling bee with a nine-year-old. Yeah. Well, right. well, you know. What's next? You're going to read the want ads? Holy smokes. Hmm. Uh, Let me see. I, I gotta I gotta say it's good to see you again, Robert. But yeah. the, the, the 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 kid that was uh not, not this smart kid, but this other guy keeps coming in and he's like a a male go-go dancer. I thought maybe it was you at 25 years old. Yeah, Hit the I, wrong I, button. Yeah, that that was me, all right. Okay. <laughs> hmm. 
Okay. Good to see you, Robert. By the way, anybody who's going to sign on tonight, make sure you sign on with your real name, okay? So I know it's you, and I know it's not uh, one of these. I'm, I'm, I am just, I'm constantly taking them out of the uh, waiting room. Uh, <laughs> that was a mild one compared to the ones we first got. Yeah, first oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Doing yeah. It. Yeah. But uh, like Alzemo Lopo, Lopo wants to get on. Forget it. As Lemo, Santiago is trying to get on. It, you know, they, they keep using these uh, these uh, Mexican names and stuff. And oh, we just lost uh, Trucker Steve. Well, he'll I'll be able to see him when he signs on. Hmm. I'm not going to remove these guys. I'm just going to uh, uh, let them. Uh, um, you know, uh, you know, if Ryan had stayed around, he'd get to watch. Brian eat, which he does through the whole show. <laughs> yes, Brian does. At least he's not like me. He keeps his mouth closed. Good food. My apples. Food. Healthy, all, right all, on. All of a sudden, my, my, my Alexa talks to me. I don't know what she said, but she said something. <clears throat> Who knows? Oh, let's see here. Now we have, let's see. Oh, and Fred smokes. No, no, it's his smirks. No, we can't use that's, him. No. That's, that's yeah. John Larkin. You want to make a bet? Yeah. You want to make yeah. a bet? You think yes. it is? Okay, yeah. well, let me see here. Is it, is, He's used is, that is name it Mr. Before. Larkin? Uh, yes, it is. Hey, listen, Larkin. Yeah. Would, would you make sure that when you sign in from here on in, you sign in as John Larkin so I know it's you? Because I'm getting a lot of uh, bombs tonight. Okay. Right. And uh, uh, it uh, doesn't it doesn't bode well, you know, uh, yeah. because I, I I know you're not Alzemo Lopo or Santiago or Kerry <laughs> Caverga. <laughs> I don't know where they come up with these names, but uh, I always come up with names from science fiction books. Yeah, but I don't know that necessarily, okay. you know, uh, but. Uh, uh, I've got all these people in the waiting room now, and they're just going to wait there. They can waste their time. Oh, they're starting to go away now. Uh, they're giving up, finally. Oh, boy. Why do well, I, I have a question. question. Yeah. yeah. Uh, yes, uh, Mr. I got my vaccine today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Pfizer. Pfizer. Mm -hmm. Pfizer, yeah. How do you like that? Yeah. You got the uh -huh. fancy schmancy Pfizer. Yeah, so you get I, you get to go back in three jail. weeks. You get to go back in three weeks. Yep, already scheduled. Okay, and your wife didn't get one though, right? She's too young. She's too young. That's what you get for marrying the young tail. Robin you the know. cradle. Robin the cradle. Yeah. yeah. She's not in the cradle, but she's yeah. younger. Yeah. Younger than we are. Yeah. Um, <laughs> so it, uh, 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 you went up there, you went to Yale. and Oh, it's great. I was in and out of there. Oh. And I don't know, like 40 minutes. Everybody tells me these stories. I was in and out of there, and I've got another appointment in three weeks. Meanwhile, yeah. I, it's like I'm going to have to, I'm, it looks like I'm, I feel like I'm waiting forever for my next shot, you know? Yeah. See? That's no big deal. I know a lot of people that were in and out of Yale in 40 minutes. They got kicked out. Huh? What'd you say? I said, I know a lot of people got kicked out of Yale in oh, 40 yeah. minutes. Yeah, I could have gotten kicked out of Yale in 40 minutes. Sure. Yeah. That's no big deal. <laughs> so anyway, Robert, where you been? I, 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 I've been busy winning the Nobel Prize. Alex. My boss didn't ask me where I was when I took a day off, ever. Yeah, right, <laughs> right. But we missed you, you know. Well, these, that's awful sweet of you. These people like you, and I like your participation because you're smart and you're sharp well, and, you well, know. Well, thank you, sir. I've missed you as well. Yes. Uh, 15 minutes of temperature doing every side of the yeah. head. Hat on, hat off. And then we talked right. about the vaccine for another half hour. Well, and look, then... look, tell me this. What else is there to talk about? I know. Jeez, really? Talk about I mean, Michael I, Holson I, before I you was talk thinking about today, that. why do I do this show? Because right now there is nothing to talk about. I mean, yes, there's stuff to talk about, but it's the same old stuff, you know? Like, what do you think? Uh, Charlie, is there a topic we could get on here that maybe is fresh and new? It's oh, nice we can talk about variable stars. What about what? <laughs> variable stars. Variable stars. <laughs> yeah. yeah. 
What yeah, is that's Brian how we got our name. So, yeah, yeah, that's, that's how we got our name. Yeah. Yeah. Nelly. Good. Wait, wait a minute. What are variable stars? <clears throat> that's what Cepheid is. That's how they came <clears throat> up the name. I, I don't understand what you're talking so, about. They would measure. They would measure the distance to the stars by their blinking. And oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. So, that's, so it's since brighter we, and dimmer, brighter and dimmer on a regular schedule, and, and depending yeah. on the schedule, you could tell exactly how intrinsically bright they are. So that'll tell you the distance away. But yeah. variable stars probably aren't that consistent, right? A certain class. What? Cepheid are. Cepheids are? Yeah. Let me look that up. Uh, yeah. yeah uh, quickly. Did you do you know about this, Brian? Or am I am I just an absolute no, that's, how they came up, that's, that's how they came up with the name. <clears throat> what? I thought it meant like William Shatner. Sometimes he's a star. Sometimes he's not a star. <laughs> Here comes Tony. Uh, well, I, uh, Tony Ramirez. No. Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. What were they looking at? Tony, when they... why, when you called in a few minutes ago, were you dancing? What was that all about? <laughs> yeah, in a, in a thong. In, in a in thong, the, no in less. In those short pants there. Was, he, was the guy who was dancing in a thong? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I got my family guy pajamas on now, that way. Just, just let him in one more time. You can see. Yeah. Well, yeah, let him in one more time. I think maybe they 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 probably given up because I they have to go somewhere else and annoy somebody who isn't going to put up with it anymore. Yeah. yeah, they 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 probably look for live and then they try to connect on and then. Well, we're no you know we keep no secret about what our our address is, you know to call uh, because might we want boost your female viewership. It could yeah. be. It could be. Yeah, that's what they're doing. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, whoever was doing it. Yes, Jeff. <laughs> I really want to know if any of the Jewish guys from California have lasers that are running around <laughs> squirting whatever the guy is. Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, well, no, uh, uh, Alan is in charge of <laughs> those. Right. That's right. That's right. It's a, a 450 milliwatt laser. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there. Now we got Steve. He's yeah, coming through. We... Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Turn your phone you know, sideways there, Steve, and then we can get like a wide star. angle picture of you. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's nice. So yeah. they named stars. How did they come out with a planet? What were they looking at when they named Uranus? <laughs> I knew you were going to mention that. As soon as I heard you start in on that, I knew you were going to bring up Uranus. And we don't want to hear about That's Uranus. That's one of the Roman gods. Come on. Okay. <laughs> hmm. God, I see the level of the show is picked up tonight. <laughs> yeah, so it's, it's now in the, it's now in the, it's now in the science. Jokes. It's now in the science with uh, uh, just a dollop of innuendo. <laughs> yeah. I see. Yeah. Oh boy. We didn't get the uh, minutes from the last meeting you were at, Robert. <laughs> oh Jesus Christ! That was that was a little while ago. Yeah, yeah. he doesn't remember those things. We started. We ended. And, I need a second. Yeah. And, 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 and at some point, we probably mentioned Trump and my prostate, right? Mm, probably. Probably. Yeah. probably. Complained it's, about bicycle seats or some goddamn thing. <laughs> yeah. I was just, you know. I, I, yeah. So anyway, we have, uh, we have uh, Steve in, the, uh, in, his, uh, in his car, in his uh, truck. Uh, I guess he, you had to change your phone, right, Steve? Yeah, because the truck stop signal was uh, bad, so I'm losing my data connection. Oh, okay. All right, fine. As long as it doesn't cost you too much, in which case we'll understand it if you leave at some point, you know, um, because that can be expensive. Alex, you're talking about travel. Does that mean you guys are going to travel after, at the end of the year or so? Well, you know you something? Always... I don't know if by the time we decide to travel, if I'm going to be in any shape to travel, you know? You, you always you know talked about before traveling. You guys were trying to figure out where you wanted to travel, and then you yeah. could probably get a good deal on the airplane. Well, you know, I think about China. When we went to China, and one day we were down in the south of China. We were, I don't know where it was in China, down around Gulin, and we took a uh, side day side trip uh, to uh, the uh, rice fields. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. And to get to the top of the rice fields, you have to walk up about a mile straight up 
and we it, it's steps, but you had to go straight up. If you don't want to walk it, you can hire two people to carry you there. <laughs> really, for for like twenty bucks, mm. take you right up the the all, all these stairs. Then this uh, in this little like couch thing where they have a guy on each end, and they just haul you up to the top of it. Uh, I don't know that I could do that now. I'm just wondering, do I have the strength or the ability to do it now? And that was 10 years ago. So I, I just wonder how much resilience I would have on a vacation. And uh, I'm hoping I would have a lot because I would be hoped that it would give me a lot of exercise and, you know, I'd be back in the... But I would like to at least find out, you know... Uh, and I don't know if I can drive anymore. I can't, I just don't know if I'm capable of driving for any extended periods of time. So I don't know if we go to Europe and I rent a car, if I'm going to be able to get us around like I used to be able to. So, you know, I mean, I realize those are the, those are the things about getting older. Right, Jeff? Yeah, but mm. you could take a tour. Yeah. I don't like that. I don't agree. I agree that the tours are crappy, but... Yeah, um, I, I mean, my friend Shecky loves to take cruises. He does like, and he does the cruises too. Yeah, he does the cruises. He loves those cruises, and and uh, uh, I wonder about those cruises because I don't know. I don't want to be stuck on a boat with these people. I'd be because if you don't be like it, if you don't like it, you don't like them. You're stuck on a goddamn boat with them for what a week yeah. or two weeks or whatever it's a long time yeah. you can't even I be on a cruise one time. it was weird what do you mean it was weird how was it weird well, I, I just you know they, they would um they you know i was with this girl and they would put us with these hook us up with these other people and the people that we were, we were hooked up with were french they didn't speak very good english and yeah. they were very snobbish you know about americans that didn't speak french and it was just uncomfortable i was like i don't want to sit hang out with these people but, you know, they kind of, you know, when they, there'd be like dinners, they'd put you at the table with these, you know, friend people. You're kind of assigned these people. Yeah. You know, your friend. Yeah. Well, you don't, it, if you go to Europe, you don't want to hang out with the French anyway. Yeah. Oh, I it, it was a cruise out of Istanbul, of all places. Oh, really? It was, it was, it was well, that's cool. That's yeah. cool. They hooked you up with a tea party or like they did me once. Robert, you ever hung out with the French? Um. No, not a sexual. No, I, don't, I don't guess so. I, <laughs> what? I don't guess, I don't guess so. If, if you ever catch me on a cruise, please call the authorities. I'm being held against my will. Exactly. Exactly. Uh, I love cruises. You do? Really? Well, okay. What do you love about them? Come on. Convert I love us. being able to go to all these places that I've only heard of in school. Yeah, but you can get there other ways without having yeah. to be on a boat with a bunch of other miserable human beings. Oh, yeah, but people are on the boats. I mean, you have, you have to realize. Have fun. You have to realize Robert and I hate the human race, so we don't want to have to hang out with them. It's it, more than I don't want to kill seventy-five percent of the time on my vacation getting there and getting back too. But getting there is where the fun is. They have all kinds of activities. Hell, I drank more on that one week on the cruise than I did the whole rest of the year. I don't drink. But you see, I can like well, I can go to Paris, go. and then I can rent a car. And when you rent a car, uh, you can drive places, and you can stop where you want to stop when something looks interesting <clears throat> and so on, and not have to go wherever this goddamn fucking boat decides it's going to yank you, you know? I can't drive to Jamaica. Well, you know, that's a good point. I have you, this image of, of of every night having to do the hokey pokey. It just it doesn't yeah. me. Uh, you can gamble. You can you Plus, can play games. My friend, my friend Shecky. You can watch comedy shows. My friend Shecky. They have live comedy shows on the cruise. My friend Shecky brings a bunch of books, a bottle of yeah, vodka, a bottle that. of vodka, and then just sits on the deck <laughs> off his room and reads all day. You know, it, oh, it's you a way, it's, I can see it as a way, room. I can see it as a way of forced relaxation. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Yeah, well, yeah. you nobody bothers you in your little quiet yeah. space. But, you know, I mean, Shecky has said to me, come on, let's get, come on one of my, my, my uh, tours once or my boat, my cruises. And I, I just can't bring myself to it. You know? Yeah, I think you'd get boxed in, Alex, because you're used to kind of like. 
Yeah, I just you know, out, like, yeah, I want to get off this boat for a while. Wait a minute, we're in the middle of the ocean. I yeah, can't. Like, of course, he, of, he cor like, uh, of course, you would like this, Robert. Robert, Shecky does really esoteric cruises. He took one to the Galapagos Islands once. He took another one to Antarctica. That looked nice. There okay, hung, hung out with penguins. Finally really found good. out that you don't want to hang out with penguins because penguin shit stinks. stinks. <laughs> Everywhere. Yeah. Everywhere. He said, you think of it as romantic. Oh, look, the cute little, oh, God, that smell. <laughs> <laughs> they go all over. And for this, I got to pay? <laughs> this, I got to pay. That's a bonus, really. And then he Why? got. How many people yes, have ever been to Antarctica? Yeah. And then that'd got, be, that'd be fine funny. with me. <laughs> and then he had some kind of medical emergency, and they had to drop him off at the closest seat port, right? Oh, and then he had to fly home. Uh, yes, uh, Alan. So I was on a cruise once to Alaska. And I hear that's a good cruise. I hear that's a great cruise. Talking, well, yeah, I guess. Uh, talking about the, the people that you sit with at the dinner <clears throat> table mm -hmm. uh, was interesting. There were eight of us at the table we were assigned to. Mm -hmm. Uh, there were seven Democrats and one professor from somewhere that was a staunch Republican and knew everything. Yeah, and yes. It made the table conversation because we were trying to figure out how we could get him out the window while we're at sea. <laughs> <laughs> the interesting thing was four people at the table were Jews, and uh, I'm still friends with them 10 years later in Chicago. Oh, Despite huh. that, or what, what, in spite what, of the <laughs> fact that they're Jews, yeah. I don't know if I, if I, you know, if, the only thing, the only thing, the only thing worse than going on a cruise and having to hang out with other Jews is to hang out with Goyim. So you know, it doesn't either <laughs> way. Be, yeah. it, it, doesn't, really? it doesn't. You could bring a noose with you, Alex, just in case. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know, Shecky uh, uh, did uh, did uh, said the one of the best trips he ever took. Was the Alaska cruise that that is a, a truly worth taking? Yeah, yeah that's, you've that's taken it, Brian. So we did Disney cruise just before Adrian was born. We went with uh, seven other people, two other couples. Yeah. And two two of them were Mickey and Minnie, and there was Donald. Yeah, and oh, then there. No, were, yeah. so, so that was really fun, and because uh, you know, all the kids were together, and and they the Disney cruise is a little bit expensive, but they really take care of you. And then uh, we. Before the pandemic, we were supposed to go on the Alaska cruise. So we're going to fly up to Seattle. Yeah. And then it's like four days up Vancouver and up yeah. that way and come yeah. back. So we have that credit. So probably like in about five years, I'll take it. And then suppose, the other one that Shecky took was up the Yangtze. I beg your pardon, sir. Up the Yangtze. Oh. That's right near Uranus. Is that uh, in Uranus? Uh, ooh. <laughs> Uh, Yangtze, no, you, uh, 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 no, the Yangtze, and uh, he said that was a great trip. And he, who you know, who was on the boat with him, uh, uh, Alex Trebek, yeah, was on that, oh, wow. was on that yeah. boat, yeah. And you know, and Shecky, <laughs> Shecky used that opportunity to give him pancreatic cancer, so you know, it was a uh, that was nice, that was yeah. nice of him, sure. He did I it went in the form a of a question, though. In the form of a question, what, right? What is? I went on a cruise in the late '90s, and it started. We started embarked from Istanbul, and went across the Black Sea to Yalta, mm -hmm. and then like we stopped. It, it ended up in Rome, but we went from uh, Istanbul to the Ukraine to Bulgaria to an island in the Athens. Uh, mm -hmm. I mean, in the uh, Greek Sea. And ended up in Rome. It was pretty fun. Yeah. But we stopped at this uh, this one place in Bulgaria, and they let you. They you say, okay, you got a day, you know, to mm -hmm. go do whatever you want. So most people were going on these tours, but I said, let's just get a cab because there's this guy, this Bulgarian guy, speak, spoke perfect English, and he goes, look, give me a hundred bucks, and I'll take you to all the cool places. Yeah. So we go, okay, cool. So he takes us to this restaurant in this little town, and we're and he comes into the restaurant. We're going to eat. And this black BMW pulls up outside and it's looking for a place to park. Mm -hmm. So the cab driver goes outside and he moves his car and lets the guy park. And he comes back in. And I said to him, how come you did that? And he, he just looks at me and he goes, Russian mafia. And I go, really? And, and they came in and they were in the restaurant. And I, I go, can I take a picture of them? 
And, and I, he goes, no, don't do that. I go, why? What are they going to do to me? I, goes, I was in, I was in Ibiza, and we stayed at this very nice hotel. Um, I have my ex-girlfriend. Uh, you've met her, um, Kathleen. And uh, we were sitting outdoors at a table, and I had my I videotaped everywhere I went. And I started shooting around the, you know, where we were eating. And all of a sudden, these guys start staring at me. Yeah. Because they didn't want me shooting them. Yeah. And they were Russian mobsters. Yep. <laughs> yeah. And I stopped shooting, and I didn't want to get my legs or my camera broken. Yeah. Yeah. So the cab driver said to me, he goes, no, they will, probably won't hurt you, but they'd kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Right. They probably shove your camera up your Yangtze. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> All the way up, up to my Uranus. Yeah. yeah right. right. <laughs> yeah. Bum You knew that. I knew that was coming. So I had to say it before you did. Um, uh, I mean, the best, I think the best vacation I ever had, I took with Marjorie, and that was to China. Because her company put mm -hmm. us up in a apartment for two weeks in Beijing, so we were kind of living there, and then we went down to Gulin for two for two or three days, mm -hmm. and that's when we went to the rice fields and we went along that river with the with big casks, mm -hmm. you know, those big pointy mountains, uh, and that was uh, I always wanted to go there because I had always seen pictures of that, and. Uh, that was that. That was a place I really I felt you know was one of the places on the face of the earth I wanted to see, and it was gorgeous, mm -hmm. just gorgeous. And then we went up to the, you know the rice fields and so on and so forth. And it was, and then all the time in Beijing with the you know, being in Tiananmen Square and then uh, the Forbidden City and all that. It was just you know it was just wonderful. And I and I love the country. The country is a wonderful country, and the people are wonderful. You know, so gorgeous too. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous. And and people yeah, are Ireland. That's where I'm gonna go when this is over. Where? Where? Ireland. Ireland? Why? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I've never been there. What oh really? What okay. I I just I, Ireland never appealed to me, but then I see it on television and I go, gee, it's beautiful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know. Oh green. No, oh, it's green and it's beautiful. It's wonderful. So uh, yeah. I, I've never been to Mar Lago and I'll never go. <laughs> well, uh, do you know who? Do you know who who built Mar, Mar a Lago? No. Saw a little documentary on it the other day. Lena Lee, Merrill owned it at one point. You right? know why she did? Because she married into the Post family. The Post family, yeah. And the Post was filthy rich. Yeah, well, Post family owned and built Mar a Lago. Right. <laughs> Um, hmm. and, uh, I went to college huh? in their house. What you, what post used to own a lot of property mm -hmm. in Long Island. Yeah. And, and it ultimately became, uh, a university. CW post. CW yeah. post. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's where I got my. Uh, degree. I think that it, you know, it, um, uh, what I what, what happened was, then the Post tried to get rid of it. Uh, so, so Meriwether Post, what was her name? I can't remember her yeah. first name. Yeah, uh, she tried to get rid of it, and so she was willing to give it to the state of Florida, so they could turn it into some kind of whatever, Something. and they didn't want it. Because they just said it was too expensive for the state to take care of. And it was getting too expensive for the Post family to take care of. So they tried to unload it and unload it and unload it. I think finally they unloaded it to Trump for like only maybe $200 million, which is not a lot of money for that property. Um, and uh, he's owned it ever since. What? Maybe it wasn't that much. Maybe it could have been much less than that. It could have been. I think it was. Maybe it was twenty million. It was some. It was some ridiculously low price from what you would think it was worth. You know. Did you know uh, that uh, there's a Donald J. Trump Park, State Park in New York City, in New York? Is there really? You heard about that? Yeah, but it's a great story though. It's a. Of course, it's a con. What happened? Was <laughs> of course. <laughs> He bought this land, you know. I knew we'd get to talking about Trump somehow. <laughs> so he, he, he buys it because he was going to try to develop a golf course or something. Mm -hmm. and, he, oh, and he found out it's nothing up there. It's a piece of shit. You can't do nothing with it. Mm -hmm. So 
and, and plus then the, you know, the people that own property around there gave him a hard time. Yeah. So uh, he tried to sell it. He couldn't sell it. He paid 3 million for it. It was like 300 acres. He paid like 3 million for it. So he gets a bogus appraisal for it for like 30 million. And then he donates it to the state. Mm. <laughs> oh. mm. He gets a tax write off for 30 million when he only fucking paid 3 million for it. <laughs> oh boy. Well, yeah. Not but, Donald. There's a sign. You can see it. It's Donald J. Trump State Park, about 30 miles north of New York. By the see? way, we watched a documentary today. It's called The Downfall of Donald Trump. I got it from England. All seven minutes. Uh, oh. <laughs> it's about the last day. You know, that a day when the uh, Capitol was attacked. It was incredible because number one, it was incredible to see the British take on it since they're this isn't where they live okay so they look at it as a thing that happens there and their whole assessment of it was just brutalizing of trump okay but what they had was footage i hadn't seen we all know that woman got shot and i think we saw shots of her lying on the ground this mm -hmm. thing actually has the gun going off and the guy shooting it and oh, wow. it's 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 some footage that and all this these four letter words Let's go get those fucking senators, you know, let's go kill them. I mean, it's just amazing. And it was footage that I don't think the networks wanted to show over here. No. Nope. You know, because they were afraid, maybe afraid of showing it or whatever. But, I mean, it just devastating. We watched it and we said, that that's great stuff, you know, just great stuff. But anyway, that's what else we did today. See how exciting our day is? Mm. Yeah. What have you been doing, Robert? Anything interesting? No. A lot of reading. Did you get your shot yet? No. Uh, you're, you're, you can get it, right? No. Oh, no? You're not that old? I am. I'm 70, but I'm not on the priority list, and they're going very slowly. But, well, wait a minute. So, if you're over no. 65, you're on the priority list. Yeah, you're supposed not, to be. Not here, my friend. You, He's in the jersey. Very right? difficult. Really? Yeah. Mm. Who were they inoculating in New Jersey then? Um, healthcare workers, essential workers, police and fire, that sort of thing. And then people with out, really outrageous you know, preconditions and so forth. Well, here and it, it, yeah. Frankly, um, the way it was supposed to work is I go to doctors that are part of uh, University of Pennsylvania Medicine. Mm -hmm. And so it's a huge conglomerate. And so we were told that we would be handled through them. And so I thought it would be a breeze when suddenly we got emails from them saying that they weren't being furnished with the vaccine. So, mm -hmm. oh, wow. Well, we here, sort of here in New in York, world. here in New York, uh, you do, uh, you are eligible if you have comorbidities. And, uh, uh, I got it. You got it. You got it. They, none of them got it. You got it, right? Comorbidities. Oh, I can see. Okay. All right. Yeah. You know what I heard today? They were saying this thing about um, that they were going to. Um, uh, they were going to make sure that they were going to reach out to the black community to get them to get the shots, you know, and they were going to put them at the top of the list priority. And I'm thinking, if they're the reason they're getting it at double the rate, I believe, and correct me if I'm wrong, Charlie, is that they don't wear masks and they weigh a lot, you know, and weight has a lot to do with it. Yeah. And I think that's why the come the the uh, rate is higher among blacks but i don't think that simply reaching out to them is going to change this what's going to change this is for the attitude within those communities to change about getting the shot you know you can't lead a horse to water you know to, every every different race has different things that are higher risk like black people tend to be diabetic in in much larger numbers yes which is a comorbidity in, in this case. Yeah. And it, it is in, in medical, too. I mean, a lot of them have uncontrolled diabetes. Yeah. And they're a prime candidate for a lot of different things. But, you know, you can you can take 
Latinos or, you know, or Asians or. Well, every group the, has its own thing. I mean, we. Right, right. We, we, so to say that, to say, I mean, I'm fat and I'm not black, but to say that everybody, there are a lot of people that are black that are fat and that makes the comorbidity. I, I, I don't agree with that. Well, also, I mean, I find that they are, at least in this neighborhood, not wearing masks at a great, in great numbers. I, in where, California, everybody's wearing a mask. Well, well, I just said, you know, if you're not going to wear a mask, then we shouldn't give you the shot. You know, I mean, you've got to do your part, right? Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. But then again, uh, we maybe should give them the shot because they won't wear the mask and we don't want them giving it to us. By the way, yeah. did you hear about Ast AstraZeneca today, what they found out about AstraZeneca? What did they play? No. Huh? Nothing. I was just mumbling. What, what, they even have what, 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 what did you yeah. mumble, Robert? I just said, who did they play? I thought we were doing basketball. Oh, I play? see. Oh, AstraZeneca, yeah, they were playing. Uh, they played Johnson and Johnson. Yeah, playing, playing, no, playing they Uranus. They yeah, I was going to say Uranus. Uh, <laughs> they had a successful test or something, didn't they? What? Did they have a successful? Uh, what it is, is they found that it's better than just what we have here, that it seems to, if you give it to somebody, it stops them from spreading it, okay, where the, none of these drugs prevent you from spreading it if you have it, right. you know. They, and, and they just don't know yet. No, but they, they said with AstraZeneca, they found really? that, that among the people that, that take the AstraZeneca, if they've already got it, 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 it uh, minimizes it. I mean, it does a lot of things that the current vaccines don't do, uh, and, and that it can lower the risk of the population becoming infect, infected with it if the population has uh, AstraZeneca in its veins or so whatever. Where are they Ooh. using it, though? Is it in England? In England, what? yeah. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, been, in, it's been uh, okayed for use I in England. Oxford. For, it's been used uh, for, for, I guess, a Why couple of months bring now. bring it over here? England. Well, you know what I don't understand is, I mean, are the British so bad at uh, saying that a drug is okay that we can't believe them, you know, shouldn't we just say, well, it's working in England, we'll just, we'll okay it for use here. So, so I think that the, the vaccine that you got and the vaccine I got, Alex, the Moderna and the Pfizer mm -hmm. will work out to be the same thing. Now I'm not a virologist, but based on science, based on what they're talking about, they really don't know. And that's why they want you to wear a mask after you get uh, the, oh the yeah! Vaccine. Oh no! They they, they because they, because you could spread it and have an asymptomatic case. Well, until we until we establish herd immunity, at least mm -hmm. uh, everybody should wear a mask. Well, you know. right, but they don't know about the vaccines, the co the the Moderna or Pfizer, yeah. but they're thinking yeah. that you know. At the well, we're get, we're getting into territory where we've been before. Let's go back to Trump. And that's good. No, no. Let's with that to, to talk about <laughs> oh. where we've been before. You know, did just it, keep getting tested. Hmm? Don't trust anybody. Yeah. Trust the test. Did anybody see the Golden Globe nominees? Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah. You did. I call them the phony fuck awards. I mean, I mean, did, what, what, what? I didn't really watch most of these movies, so I only saw the Chicago. What do you mean? They're all on TV, most of them. I know. I just haven't had a chance to watch The Queen's it. Gambit and uh, One Night in Miami. Yeah, which, by the it. way, if you haven't seen One Night in Miami, it's terrific. It's on I'm Amazon. Sure check that out. Is it on Amazon? Yeah, it's Amazon. Uh, it was terrific. I think Tony has been spending his time shopping for new wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway. You want to laugh, Alex? The, the Chinese people next door? They inquired about the apartment upstairs to rent. I said, no, we're not renting it yet. Oh, okay. They, they smell blood in the water, I think. Was, wait a minute, was that where your mother? Yeah, I mean, she's gone two weeks. They were just being nice. You rent the apartment? I said, no, we're not renting anything anytime soon. Okay. If they live in the house next door, why would they want to rent an apartment in I your guess house? I they had somebody in mind, maybe. I don't know. I really like... You, you got know, a nice room up there? You want to... Yeah. <laughs> I was like, you know, now I was getting the mail and they kind of kind of scurried over and like, you know, you... 
I couldn't understand there at first, but they were I remember, like, they when you're speaking people. about Chinese people coming over and wanting to rent an apartment, it reminds me of when I was, I was a kid, like, and we were living in North Beach in San Francisco. And at that time, North Beach had had been an Italian neighborhood, but it was slowly being taken over by Chinese who were buying up the properties like crazy, and they eventually bought our apartment house and the apartment house we were in. And every couple of days, knock on the door. Are you planning on moving out? <laughs> you know, because they wanted us to get out of there so they could move their families in there. You know, and we we yeah. had an apartment, uh, and said, so "We when we get a chance, we'll be moving." Yeah, yes, said Brian. But Tony, the big thing, did you ask him where there's good chink food? No, I kind of kept no, it to my no, own. That's no. not how you put it. <laughs> that's <laughs> not how you put it, Brian. That's racist. No, you call That's what Tony said. No, that's he called it. He, 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 yeah. he called it in a larger sense, chinks. Yeah. Which but was referring to the food. The oh, okay, man. and not the people. Oh, okay, got it. Okay. Yeah. So they have plenty of chicken feet. Homeless bear if she would go crazy over. Like they could be <laughs> other place to get it at that place, she would get mad. Oh, this this one stinks. Really? Yeah, I mean, you can't tell the difference. I think it's all but she could. Where yeah. where where did this it, 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 uh, Jeff, you might be able to answer this. Alan, you might be able to answer this. I mean, yeah. where did this whole thing about Jews and Chinese food start? I don't know. I don't know. It's been around as long as I've been around. Yeah. Mm -hmm. no, it was because Christmas. Because Christmas, everything's yeah, closed right. except for the Chinese food. Right. Yeah. Put, yeah. I knew people who did that. Yeah, but, but we, it's just it's <laughs> supposedly, you know, like they, they always kind of liked a racial stereotype for various things, like, you I know, mean, I mean, it is nice. foods that blacks I, I eat or that Mexicans eat Chinese or whatever. It, it, Jews are always tip, uh, stereotypically Chinese food eaters. Not Chinese. Chinese yeah. Jews are Chinese right. food yeah. eaters. I think the Chinese taught the Jews yeah. how to be cheap. Really? Well, sorry. There we go. I, you know, I didn't. I didn't get racial like you, Brian. Yeah, I, you oh, know, Tony. I got so I many Chinese menus in that. Okay, sure okay. so let's get yeah. political for a second. Okay, Marjorie Taylor Greene. Who's that? Answer Dick her out. Who's that? Is that the one who called? Who wanted to shoot Biden or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, you uh, not yeah. Kill she's Nancy Pelosi. Yeah, yeah. She's a congresswoman now. Wow. From Georgia. And a how is well, she I, what were you gonna say, Robert? Looked like you had some comment you wanted to make about No, no, but this is a woman that denied Sandy Hook. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes. It's actually warranted. Among Hill. other things. Huh? And, and, the, and the school in Florida. My wife and I, we think about this from time to time, and we think if we were parents that lost a child, mm -hmm. Wild horses couldn't keep my hands from going around this woman's neck. Yeah, no. you know, I can't for the for a minute. I can't imagine what a parent of a child that was lost That's in that correct. tragedy must be going through hearing this asshole. But what you feel, but really, you wonder about is how somebody can be so insensitive to that. Yeah, exactly. You know, yes, Charlie. Alex Jones here in Austin has written those Sandy Hook parents so hard that some of them had to move. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Didn't yeah. they sue him? Yeah. It sued him, yeah. Yeah. And and they I think they won, didn't they? They did, yeah. But they still had yeah. to move because all his uh trolls Yeah, all his trolls would go and, and just hound them. Yeah. They had to move and change their names and shit. Losing a kid wasn't bad enough. Yeah. All for the crime of losing your child to some yeah. maniac. Yeah, but, but Trump had time to uh, go on his radio show and um, and meet with that dumbass uh, QAnon yeah. lady. Yeah, it's despicable, completely despicable. It's the, it's, it's, it's despicable. It's despicable. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Despicable. Yeah, you know, it, I, I just um, I don't understand. I don't understand how uh, the um, uh, what's his name, the head of the uh, Republicans in the Senate. Can say we're not gonna we're not gonna chastise her we're not gonna do anything yeah. about this. Mitch McConnell. We like her. <laughs> it's McCarthy. It's the House. Yes, yeah, it's the House. Yeah. Yeah. McCarthy's the one that would have to do it. Yeah, no, but he yeah, today no, said he wasn't going. They weren't going to. They weren't right. going to admonish her. Democrats, and she Democrats went down. Do she called down to Trump, and to, she and Trump supposedly had a very nice discussion because they have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. They're both unmitigated racists. You know. Yeah. Uh, 
And uh, she says, and they agreed to have dinner sometime soon. And I'm just thinking, I wonder who was going to pick up the check. I don't think Brand he's going <laughs> Trump wants to bang her. Yeah. yeah. Really? Yeah. Have, have you seen her? She's not really very sexy. Fucking now, ugly. this other woman, Bulbert. Yeah, she's hot, but she's. she's I do her happy. just to demean her by the fact that yeah. she had had sex with me. Yeah. Yeah. She's mad now that she's not getting all the uh, press because of yeah. the other freak. <laughs> yeah, well, Bobert, I guess, is going to have to start shooting up the Capitol or doing something like that. Yeah. You know, God. It's Did just... you see the uh, the uh, the My Pillow guy on, on oh. Newsmax? Oh. Yeah, <laughs> they were like, no, no, no. He was so sued. bad. No, this is true. He's so bad that the guy on Newsmax what? had to walk off the show. Walk off. <laughs> walk off. He just walked off. He didn't want to even talk to the my pillow guy anymore because what but, they did is they admonished him before he came on. No talking about Dominion and about the voting machines. One of the reasons is Newsmax is an uh, is a has ideals, and one of those ideals is we don't want to get sued by Dominion, okay? Yeah. <laughs> so they don't want any discussion of that, and they don't want to be brought up on their air because they, ab they absolutely could get sued. Yeah. So they said, do not talk about that, and he started talking about it. And the guy had to admonish him, whoever the host was, some brain-dead human being who works yeah. at Newsmax, uh, had to admonish him. For uh, talk, they said, we told you not to talk about that. Please don't talk about that. What we're here to talk about is you being banned from Twitter. Okay, that was yeah. the reason they brought him on. Yeah. And he just kept going and going and going and going. And the guy finally just gave up and just got up and walked off the set. Yeah, yeah. They had to go He's to saying. an empty screen and then they had to bring in the, uh, uh, then they couldn't bring in the My Pillow guy again because they didn't want to bring him back on because they knew they were going to get sued. And it was just a real clusterfuck. And it was wonderful because was. Newsmax, for one moment, one scintilla of a moment, had principles. The guy uh, seemed like he was reading the he was reading his lawyer's stuff, whatever they told him to read for a lawyer. He was so yeah. no, we are denouncing and Newsmax as a company, blah 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 blah. Yeah. Every time you start talking, we have not been able to we we, we have not been yeah. able to find that this There's is no true. Blah 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 yeah. blah blah. Right. And you know, I mean, this new, and, and, you know, the my pillow guy's an idiot. He's a moron. Yeah. Number one, yeah. if you're selling, if you're selling show? goddamn pillows and you got to sell a million pillows in order to make a living, okay? Let's get him on this show. That'd be great. You don't do no. Then I'm going to get banned from YouTube. <laughs> yeah. I mean, yeah. Uh, but uh, but <laughs> you know, I mean, he just he just he just uh, is an a complete moron that he doesn't see. That this is ruining his company. He's going. He's not. He's not. Well, you're going to sell pillows to militia. Wait, 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 you know, wait, they wait, sleep wait. out in the woods for Christ's sake. They don't need a goddamn pillow or a I, duvet. I have a, I have a ten year warranty on my pillow pillows. He can't. Mm -hmm. He can't go out of business yet. Oh, <laughs> oh really? I actually, I actually <laughs> own my pillow pillows. Yeah, because you got them before you knew what he was, oh, right? Oh, absolutely. You wouldn't and buy them now. Comfortable pillows I've ever slept on. They're what? The most comfortable pillows. I've what are you doing? Thought. An ad for my pillow here? My mother, I have a. My mother bought a one too. I, I have it in the back, but it, it's not that good though. I thought. I don't think it's that fluffy though. Well, you, you you fluff it up again, and you know, or put it in the dryer for a half hour or something. Yeah. I I, I don't you know. know the dog eat it. Comfortable. <laughs> Use it to clean up. Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> Does anyone else have a product they'd like to endorse tonight? <laughs> we still have about 12 minutes. Well, let's see here. Um, I have a, a little item here that, um, uh, 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 Brian, would you like to sell it to everybody? Yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's upside down. What it's is upside it? down. Is it upside down? Then you're a terrible spokesman. So you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, no, I'm, right. I'm kind of like, I'm like, uh, what's his name? Like Trump. I, I don't know which way to hold the Bible up the, either. Bible. You put the yeah. oil on one side, the vinegar on the other side, and then you shake it up. Yeah, and yeah, it's... yeah. And the, could I use it for that? Let's see here. Sure. Is this, is this one of those uh, things that comes with a hypodermic needle and a quarter ounce of bleach? No, this yeah. is actually, this is a testing item for oh. testing for COVID. Oh, okay. You do the swab, pop the top, put, put it the in swab there, break in there. it off, close it up, and shove it in the... And you shove it in the machine, 
I guess by its convenient little handle there. What is this handle for? Is there a reason for that? No, the, yeah, that's where all the DNA goes in, and we analyze the DNA from that window. What? Oh, wow. The DNA goes in the window? Yeah, the, there's chambers. When you pop up in that lid, there's all the holes. They're all chambers, and so we bring fluid back and forth with your sample to some dried reagents. We dissolve it, we mix okay. it up, and then we put it through that. There's a micro but tube also, there. All, all, all you're doing, that. though, is putting your, your nose jam in there, right? Oh, yeah, but it mixes with it mixes with chemicals to try to when we break up the DNA and we use primers and probes to glue everything back together if you have the disease, then we know. Oh, isn't that a little complicated? Science. Can you it's just magic. Have, I don't know how it works. But can't you it, just have somebody lick the Q-tip and say it doesn't taste like COVID to me? Tastes like uranus. <laughs> It tastes like uranus. No, for some for some other diseases, we have the this is enough stool. This is not enough stool. Oh, really? You do stool pictures. samples too? Yeah, we have pictures of that. And we have to approve those pictures. So. Really? But you do stool samples as well. That's On good. other other diseases, yeah. Yeah. The stool samples for, are uh, colorectal for colorectal cancer. Yeah. 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 yeah, I get those every year. They send this box. Oh, do you get the one? Do you get the one where you send the box back to the person? Yes. No, no. You you dip the little dipper in your in the in your dump, and then you put it in the little. Oh, yeah. And then you mail the box yeah, back to them. Back. Yeah. Yeah. Could we please bring back the fucking nine-year-old? <laughs> <laughs> I'm begging you. <laughs> That's what I love about you, Robert. That's why I miss you so much. At least we're not having to listen to the uh, trumpet player or whatever it was, flute. Oh, he wasn't too bad. What? What? What's oh, wrong with this? Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> oh, sorry. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> You know, good. It's very good. I don't think that's the most, hook. I don't think that's the most easy instrument to play. Did There's you the ever high register? This is when it gets hard. Did you ever what? Wait, wait, wait. And you did the behind. Are, we, are we back to Uranus again? <laughs> there you go. Does he anybody play next by door? the window so we can all help him out? Is anybody at next door going? Well, yeah, they right. make so much freaking noise. I just do it. Whenever they start making noise, I bring it out. Ah. Yeah. You, you, know, wow. you, pull, you pull your flute out when uh, there's making Thank too much pardon. noise? <laughs> Next, they're going to want to listen to your radio. Oh, just stop it. You're right. We should bring the kid back. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's this I hear? You got 10 inches. Did I hear that last night, too? What? <laughs> what a dozen in and out. That was Monday night that that was brought up. No, yeah. that was Monday show at Monday. four o'clock in the yeah. afternoon. And what was it, Mandy? What did she say? Yeah, Alan. Yeah. Alan brought it up in the show last night. Yeah. yeah. What, what? what did she say? I forgot it, what she it was, said. It was. It had to do with the weather. And you said it's cold down there. And she says, "Yeah, it's like forty-six, but I understand, Alex. You have ten inches." And I, yeah. I was. <laughs> You've been peeking again. I want to know how she found out. Yeah. Uh, you've been peeking and with your wife on the call too yeah yeah, yeah. Marjorie's right there it, and she didn't deny it funny. she didn't deny it well marjorie, marjorie gets a little defensive about other women on the show uh but she likes mandy she thinks the world of mandy in fact she and mandy have been corresponding email. back and forth and so on you know email. but because uh, mandy's cool she's very cool yeah I got to get up early and get on the Monday show sometime. It's just a barrel of laughs. Get up early. It's one o'clock. Even I'm up awake. I'm like Charlie. I don't go to bed. Till well, don't forget, the show is a different breed of animal. Yeah, I, I probably wouldn't fit in. Well, no, you know, if you if you just go along with what we're doing, it's just a very, uh, what can I call it? How do you describe it, Brian? It's a very copacetic program. Yeah. 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 I've yeah, developed the complex. I'm sick of hearing that all the nice people call on Monday. No, afternoon. no, that's not the point. And all the scumbags <laughs> call in the no, evening. No, no, what, no. What I don't here? mean to imply that at all. 
Jeez. Robert, you started it, on the daytime, didn't yeah, you? Do the Monday I, first. I, I did the first couple, yeah, and then to be frank, it got into movies and television, and I was falling asleep because yeah. I don't watch that stuff. So, yeah, I was left out in the yeah. cold. So now we're changing names. He says he's going to be Frank. <laughs> yeah, ah, very good. Never. Yes. <laughs> the same guy that writes Phil's material, you know. <laughs> Phil's in his ear. Phil's in his ear, yeah. I think. Oh, you know, you, you guys are lucky. You only have to listen to a half hour of it. I get it, I get rather a text or, or a phone call every day. Go oh, from Phil? Yeah. Yeah. Why well, he's oh, you, do you get the police you get the police clippings from him? Yeah, he, uh, he, doesn't, Jerry, he, doesn't, he doesn't send me that stuff anymore. He knows better than that. You know, uh, yeah, but uh, you know, it, it's it just he's it's copacetic on Mondays, and it, I would uh, Robert started there, he would fit in very nicely. Uh, but you, it was you say you, you, it was a little too taffy for you, right? But, well, I just was lost in the subject matter, yeah. You and Shecky got into movies and yeah, TV yeah, shows, okay. and yeah. I'm lost, yeah, yeah, yeah. As I say, it's a different kind of show. And um, uh, they're talking about 10 inches on it. Well, now I might tune in, you know, because <laughs> shit. Hmm? We might need a, you know, we might need a, yeah. a tape measure from now on on Mondays. So uh, listen, you know, I mean, uh, tonight we've managed to have we managed to have a very nice soft show tonight. We didn't get too yeah. political about anything. Yeah. And um, does that bother you when we don't get political, Robert, on this show? No, no, oh. because you 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 have deeper interests than that, you know. Yeah, no, that 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 that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we didn't even talk about the Super Bowl. Ooh. What's that? <laughs> Alex Alex always said on Live One Hundred Five he would go to the malls during the Super Bowl because all the women would be there. Right, and because pick up it, on everyone's. Well, everyone's no, they mouth. asked me. Well, the Today Show came to me uh, in San Francisco. And said, we hear you're the guy who's not going to watch the Super Bowl. What are you going to be doing? And I said, coming on to everybody else's wife who doesn't want to watch the Super Bowl either, you know. <laughs> and that it was a perfect time for somebody to, like, you know, hit on other people's women. Right? I have a dear friend that on every year on Super Bowl Sunday in the morning, he goes to the supermarket and calls it the land of the lost men. Because the, the supermarket is filled with men walking down every bloody aisle to find potato chips, you know, and to find salsa. And they have no idea where it is. So you see a hundred guys. He's right, though. Yeah. You know, when they bend over to grab something off the bottom of the shelf, everybody gets to see their Uranus. Yeah, crack Uranus. Who, who's playing this year? It's mm -hmm. Tom Brady versus who's the other guy? Mahomes. Mahomes. Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes. Patrick Mahomes. See, I knew it was Tom Brady. How I get to what keep? Is it? I, I, I get. Yeah. To, I get to keep my 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 sports Emmy, Emmy for yet another year. Yeah. Anyway, no, we'll talk. We'll have our big Super Bowl show on Friday. You'll Ooh. be you'll be in for that, <laughs> right, Robert? And, and, uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> Monday night. We can talk about the Super Bowl Monday night. How's that? <laughs> Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. After the fact. Yeah. Yeah. Stay Monday. tuned. Ugh. Monday, Monday night, night show. So, yeah, so Monday this night is show. another super spreader. Hey, right? Alan, thank you for joining us. Mm. Jeff, so nice to have you here. Brian, always good mm. to have you here. Charlie, great. Robert, please keep calling. We, we love having you here, you know? Thank you, guys. It, it, good seeing y'all. Yeah. It's good seeing you, too. Does that mean we're not going to see you again? No. Uh, no. <laughs> Probably not till I go on a cruise anyway. <laughs> uh, no, but come back and see us, will you? We got internet on a cruise. Yeah. Uh, uh, John Larkin, thank you. Thank you to Tony, and then thank you to uh, Trucker Steve. So nice to see you out there. Everybody, give a big wave goodbye. I'll give a big wave goodbye back at you. And I hope that you all join us again tomorrow night right here. Uh, uh, at the uh, at the uh, ramble, uh, we're gonna leave now, and we're gonna leave you in the good stead of Mr. 
Uh, Jack Bishop, who does a program called The Intersection, which is next over the same GabNet. He uses Skype, and the name GabNet Live is what you type in in order to get him on Skype. In the meantime, I'll see you again tomorrow night, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her. And by the way, be safe out there and wear a mask. That's good advice, you know. Bye-bye, everybody. Bye-bye.